As observed, the coin began to jump up and goes down after about a couple of seconds after you wrap your hands around the body of the bottle. The behavior of the coin can be explained by the concept of thermal expansion. Thermal expansion happens when heat is applied to matter, and as soon as you place your hand around the body of the bottle, the air started to heat up causing thermal expansion to take place. As the air molecules expand, it pushes its way out of the bottle, thus causing the coin to jump up and down. Water is a great substance for soaking up heat. The thin balloon allows the heat to pass through very quickly and warm the water. As the water closest to the flame heats up, it begins to rise and cooler water replaces it at the bottom of the balloon. This cooler water then soaks up more heat and the process repeats itself. In fact, the exchange of water happens so often that it keeps the balloon from ever popping. The suit of the bottom of the balloon is actually carbon. The carbon was deposited on the balloon by the flame and the balloon remains undamaged.
The longer segment of straw that you have partially submerged in water is full of air and water. The amount of each depends on how deep you have your straw in the water. When you blow the air across the top of the longer straw segment, you are causing the column of air to vibrate. This vibrating column of air creates the whistling sound you hear. The pitch of the whistling is dependent on how much air you allow to be inside the straw. The more air that is inside of the straw, the lower the pitch of the whistle. Less air is going to create a higher pitch. As you rub your finger on the rim, your finger first sticks to the glass and then slides. This stick and slide action occurs in very short lengths and produces a vibration inside the glass which in turn produces a sound. As soon as the first few vibrations are produced, the glass resonates. That means you're causing the crystals in the glass to vibrate together and create one clear tone. The movement of the match is caused by a sympathetic vibration. Because you added equal amount of water, the second glass vibrates at exactly the same frequency as the first. The sound waves produced by the first glass travel in every direction. When those sound waves reach the second glass, the glass begins to vibrate. The plastic, when rubbed with a towel and touched with the skin, is attracted towards it. This is due to the static charges present on the plastic which came from the rubbing of the plastic with the towel. The static electricity on the surface of material which is at rest due to the interaction of two atoms that one loses off its electron and the other gains electrons. As towel is rubbed over the plastic, the paper towel loses electrons and the plastic wrap gains them.